Hi, so thank you for joining my podcast. Today, we're going to talk about quotes. I'm not talking about the motivational quotes that motivate us to get out of bed each morning and seize the day. I'm talking about price quotes. Now, those are the quotes that motivate me. Quote fast and quote early. When a potential client requests a quote, don't make them wait. You should send a quote as soon as possible or within 24 hours of receiving the request. If you're not currently with a client, when you get a phone call, voicemail, or email inquiring about your business services, it will serve you well to quote the potential client as soon as you can. Employing this quick quote method can help distinguish your business from your competitors and will improve your chances of getting to work. Another reason to quote fast is because online business sites like Yelp and Facebook will keep track of how long it takes businesses to respond to potential client inquiries. A long response time can affect the perceived responsiveness that businesses have with their potential clients. If the online page shows that it takes the business owner over one hour to respond to inquiries, perhaps potential clients will not even bother making an inquiry at all because they're expecting a quick quote. The reality is that many clients are shopping around when they reach out to you for a quote. In order to provide the best quote, you'll most likely ask the potential customer a few qualifying questions to identify if they are your ideal customer and to see if your business is the solution they need. You can ask questions such as, what's your deadline? Where do you plan to file, etc. By providing a quote quickly, you can ensure that the potential client takes your quote into consideration in making a decision. Once the potential client knows the service you offer and the general cost of your services, they'll be in a better position to decide who they will use to help them with the legal service they need. If you are a business that needs a lot more information before you can provide a quote, one way to give a quick quote is to offer a proposed price range and let the potential client know that the final price will depend on their specific needs and make it clear that any filing fees or third-party fees are separate costs and fees from the quoted price. Some businesses do require that the potential client attend the consultation before obtaining a quote. However, if potential clients have to wait for a quote after attending a scheduled consultation with you, by the time the consultation date comes around, your potential client may have already moved on to another business and may not even show up to your consultation because they no longer need the service you offer. On the other hand, if the potential client receives a quick quote from you, even if just a general price range and still wishes to schedule a consultation appointment to see if your services are a right fit, at that point, the potential customer is more likely to show up and retain your services because they will have the benefit of knowing what you generally charge ahead of time. Great, let's move on. In order to ensure that you quote quickly, you'll want to have pre-written quotes already set up and written out ahead of time. Written quotes and preset price lists that you can share with potential clients helps you maintain consistency in your pricing, which in turn makes you come across as a true professional. You don't want to come across as insecure or doubtful in your price quote because the potential client may feel that your price is negotiable and they may start asking for discounts if they feel that you're just making up numbers. Next, an important point is you want to put the quote in writing. Once you have provided a verbal quote over the phone, put the quote in writing. Written quotes will help everyone avoid confusion now and in the future if the potential customer decides to hire and pay you. In order to put the quote in writing, you can send a potential client a quick text or follow-up email memorializing the quoted price. For example, your email can say, Hello, thank you for calling. It was nice talking to you today. As we discussed on our call, I'm able to help you with the following list of services at this price. Don't worry so much about the format of the quote. Choose speed before fancy format. In this day and age, it's becoming more acceptable for potential clients to request and receive quotes by text, email, and a direct message, as opposed to the more traditional service proposal and elaborate quotes on fancy letterhead that service providers use to send to clients to review. And finally, provide a call to action along with your quote. Once you give the potential client a quote, let them know what the next steps would be to start working with you if they were to accept your quote. For example, you can say, if you decide to move forward, you can send me an email and I'll send you a contract to review and sign 
so that we can get this process started. On the other hand, if for some reason the potential client decides not to use your services, no worries, you can't win them all. However, quoting early and fast will enable the potential client to continue their search for the right fit with minimal interruption to your business so you can get back to serving the clients that did pay you. And that is the end of today's podcast. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to this channel. And for those of you who stay to listen until the very end, I'm going to provide you with a quote by the American writer, historian, and philosopher, Will Durant. He once wrote, We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit.